Let's teach you how to navigate the Dungeons Crawl software. To start, you can change the name of your map at any time by double clicking and typing here at the top of your screen. The center of your screen is your drawing area. This is where you create your map. You can zoom in and out and pan around using your mouse or trackpad. On the left hand side of the screen, you'll find menu icons. Clicking on each icon will change the information found in the panel to its right. The first icon is the scroll button, which opens the preset panel. Presets are layer styles that change the look and feel of your map. You can apply a preset style to your current layer or add a new layer to your map. All layers can be found in the layer menu, which we'll talk about shortly. The images panel allows you to add to your map from a library of provided assets. Think decorations, labels, traps, even treasure. Plus, you can upload your own images using this button. The clipboard allows you to use the select tool to save a shape from your map that you might want to paste later. Perfect for intricate hand-drawn shapes or to help implement symmetry in your design. Textures available to Dungeon Scrawl Pro users are overlays that add cool old school map styles to your work in progress. Also for pro subscribers, lighting effects allow you to style your map with customizable darkness and place light sources around your design. Plugins available to everyone allow you to leverage common map generators to quickly import dungeon layouts to your page for further customization. The export button lets you save your map as a PNG. Pro subscribers also have the option to export as a PDF or high res image. To save your map as a working file that you can open in Dungeon Scrawl later, you can use the save or save as options found in the file menu. Finally, Roll20 Connect allows you to connect your map to the Roll20 virtual tabletop. Follow the instructions on screen to establish a connection and use your map in your campaign. The toolbar is located at the bottom of your screen. Hovering reveals the name of each tool and the keyboard shortcuts that can be used to select them quickly. Clicking on a tool updates the tool settings that are available to customize, from switching between drawing and erasing to changing the visual style of the tool. On the upper right hand side of your screen, you'll find map settings. Pro subscribers can add multiple maps to a single save file and can import saved maps to their current project. Beneath that, you'll find the layer menu. This is where you keep track of the layers that you add to your map. Rename them easily by double clicking and typing over the text. You can add folders to manage your layers and add new layers using the plus button. Toggle layer visibility with the eye icon. If you want to add a new layer style without copying over the background color of the preset, like the blue one I just added, click on the background lock icon before adding your layer, like this. The design of each layer can be customized in layer settings. Fine tune to your heart's content by setting the line width, style, shadows, colors, your grid, and more. That's it. Let us know if you have any other questions in the comments, otherwise you're ready to start scrawling today.